Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 14, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see your news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online tracing courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up 0.14%. We are approaching the, we have basically tested the 100 moving average and got fairly rejected there. We got clearly close to the 20 expansion moving average, but uh, not really. We're at the moment, we're trading just underneath the 100 moving average. Technical indicators like the MACD are still underneath the signal line, still in, in negative territory. RSI is flat, the CCI is still in negative territory, and the stochastic is crossing the signal line at this point, um, indicating bullish momentum. We're just underneath the middle of the Bollinger Band. Break about the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band could open the door with to this uh, channel here. Otherwise, at this current stage, it looks like the 20 and the 40 are going to offer ma major resistance. If the US dollar, for example, uh, that depreciated, they continue to depreciate, of course, that is going to be very bullish for this uh, currency pair. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have fallen absolutely apart here, down minus 0.59% uh, at this current stage, trading just above the 40 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, which uh, were about to turn around, have become absolutely uh, very uh, bearish at this current stage. So we could head back towards the very bottom of the bullish band. It's actually the previous lows over here. That is just um, just above the 50 moving average, uh, give or take uh, 108, uh, 471. Technical indicators are all very negative, so it looks like a momentum is, uh, if we break a 40, uh, 40, um, the 40 exponential moving average, then we could head towards the 50 moving average. If we rally from here, we'll most likely find a resistance at the 20 exponential moving average up here at 109, 617. So let's look at the euro, US dollar also here, um, due to the fact that the US dollar continues to depreciate, this has been absolutely rallying today. We are pro we tested the 200 moving average and are trading just at the 200 moving average. We can see that we are significantly overstretched here in the bullish band. We are at the very top of the bullish band. Uh, RSI is significantly overbought as well. Uh, MACD is heading towards a positive territory. And it's basically everything has uh, turned around since we basically hit the bottom here of the of this range that is down here at the 300 moving average. Uh, Stochastic is uh, still in positive territory. Otherwise, all technical other technical indicators are very bullish. A break below the 20 exponential could open the door to the 300, but that looks uh, uh, looks far away from at this point. Um, if we break down from here, we'll most likely find support at the 20 exponential. Uh, but due to the fact that we are fairly overstretched and overbought, a pullback is kind of expected at this point. So the Aussie dollar, US dollar, the same thing here. We have rallied up towards the 20 exponential, uh, trading at 0.764. Uh, and uh, technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still in negative territory above the signal line. RSI is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the stochastic is also uh, turning around, but it's still underneath the signal line. So there is some room to the upside here in the bullish band before we run into resistance, and that is uh, give or take a 0.45% to the upside. That is where we should find resistance. That's just above the 40 exponential between the 40 and the 100 moving average. Break below here, well, the... the 150 should offer major support. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied all the way up towards 1263. And then we have just completely given most of those gains back. And now we're in negative territory. We're down 0 0.30, uh, 36. And at the moment, we're testing these previous lows. Technical indicators for this uh, currency pair are basically all turning around and becoming bearish at this point. We're hitting the very bottom of the Bollinger Band, so this should offer quite a lot of support. A pullback towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be sold into at this point. It looks like we are 
going to do the same thing as we have been doing for several months now. That is basically just hanging around at the 50 moving average and then break to the very bottom or even lower than that. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.